Tonight, a man from Denver is among those trying to escape from the deadly attacks in Israel. We're going to hear from him in just a moment. First, we want, an update, we want to update you on what's happening overseas, as the Israeli government has now officially declared war against Hamas. The Palestinian militant group launched missiles into southern Israel this weekend, killing at least 700 people. And tonight, we've learned several Americans are among the dead. The United Nations Security Council did hold an emergency meeting, and the U.S. will send a carrier strike group to Israel. This is war, and we have to fight that war and win it. We have to destroy the Hamas war machine. The assault isn't over. There continue to be, uh, to be very active fighting uh, around Gaza. Militants in Gaza are holding dozens of Israeli hostages, including women and children, and the leader of the Palestinian terror group says they will not be released until all Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails are freed. Olivia Young joining me now, because, Olivia, tonight you talked with this Denver artist who was there in Tel Aviv as those deadly strikes hit. That's right, Kelly. Now he, the war broke out within hours of him landing there, and now he can't get a flight back home. So it's about 7 a.m. right now in Israel, and he's been at the airport all night praying for a miracle. I'm in Israel. It's amazing. And my painting is going to be better because of it. A spontaneous trip that turned to terror for Denver artist Topher Strauss. When minutes after this video, the attacks began. It was terrifying. At first I heard uh, sirens and I saw everyone just running to the shore. Strauss began to run okay. as the gravity of the event set in. I don't know what's going on, but you can see missiles above me. In the ensuing chaos, he continued to film himself. All right, this is the update. I'm running to a pharmacy where I know they have a good shelter with gas masks. Strauss tried to leave Israel, but found every flight canceled. It's too dangerous to fly to Tel Aviv. For now, there is no other solution. Okay. We don't know if the next flight for tomorrow will be operated. After spending hours in the airport's chaos, I saw a couple people fighting uh, for a better place in line, pushing each other. Strauss returned to this safe room where he spoke with me. Behind me, this is a window that has a seal over it so that no glass can, can shatter if there's an event. But he isn't so staying there situation. long. If I can't get out today, I don't think there's a chance of me getting out for a while. He'll keep trying to get back to his 13-year-old son and a home he misses now more than ever. I adore my home state, and now I adore Colorado and the United States even more. The world is big, and there's a lot of things going on that we do not know about the, the struggles that all kinds of people have. It's difficult, and I miss home. Now, Strauss says he feels deeply for the victims on both sides of this conflict. He's bought three flights today. Now, the first two were canceled, and he's waiting to see if he'll be able to get out of the country on that last flight. He said he's spending the night in the airport hoping for a miracle. Yeah. Kelly, I hope that he stays safe. Thank you so much, Olivia.